Captain Marvel, Captain Fantastic, the inspirational one and only Brian Robson of Manchester United in England, absolutely correct. So, the score at the end of three rounds. Burnley 2, Everton 3. So it's all out to chat from here to the final whistle with rapid-fire questions to be answered on the buzzer. If you get a question wrong, it goes over to the opposition, but three correct answers and you can go for goal. So there are plenty of scoring opportunities in this final round. Stand by on the buzzers. 3-2 is the score at the moment to Everton. And here is the first question. Ready. Which club did Keith Kerr leave to join Manchester City? Everton, Gary Ablett. Wimbledon. Is correct. Which Northwest club won the Freight Rover Trophy the 84-85 season? Burnley, Ian. Bolton Wanderers. I can pass that over to the other side. No takers, Wigan Athletic. Wigan Athletic. Too late. <laughs> For which country did Stoke City's John Mahoney play international football? Burnley, Leighton. Wales. Thought you might get that. Which Northwest team finished bottom of the second division in the 92 93 season? Everton, Gary. Port Vale. I can pass that over. Chester City. Correct. Which Manchester City player scored for both teams in the 1981 FA Cup final? Burnley Leighton. Tommy Hutchinson. Is correct. That's three. Let's go for goal. <laughs> Name the scorer. Stanley Bowles. Three all. <laughs> Which player? Which player scored most Premier League goals in the 92-93 season? Everton, Gary. Being right. I can pass that over. Burnley Leighton. Teddy Sheringham. Is correct. Juventus play in striped shirts of which two colours? Burnley Leighton. Black and white. Correct. Which country finished in third place in the 1990 World Cup? Burnley Leighton. Italy. Correct, that's three. They beat England in Bari in the third and fourth place final. Let's go for goal. Ted McMahon. Burnley are in front by four to three, correct? In 1992, in 1992, which fourth division team knocked Arsenal out of the FA Cup? Everton, Gary. Wrexham. Is correct. Which country hosted the 1978 World Cup? Everton, Gary. Argentina. Is correct. For which club did Roy Sproson make a record 700... Burnley, Leighton. Port Vale. Is correct. From which club did Manchester United sign Brian McClare? Burnley, Leighton. Celtic is correct. In what colour shirts do the Mexican national team play? Everton, Gary. Green. That's correct, that's three, let's go for goal. <laughs> right, what do you reckon, John? It, uh, is it down to you? Dennis Law. Correct, Dennis Law. Everton have equalised, it's for all. <laughs> right, there we have the final whistle. Well, what a dramatic finish. It takes us to a tie break because at the end of normal time, the score here on Go For Goal today is Burnley 4, Everton 4. <laughs> so, it's sudden death for a place in the Go For Goal semi-finals between Burnley and Everton. Now, what we're going to do is show you a piece of action. It's fingers on the buzzers, and as soon as you think you know who eventually scores the goal, you buzz in. We freeze the action. If you get it right, you win. If you get it wrong, you lose. It's as simple as that. Everton, Gary. John Barnes. Is correct! <laughs> Well, what an absolutely incredible finish to today's contest. Let's have a look at it, of course, just to uh, confirm that you were absolutely right. And, well, we're seeing again Mark Haifey laying the ball off for John Barnes, who then went solo. A Brazilian-style goal scored for England against Brazil. 1984, the Maracanã Stadium.
A brilliant answer by Gary. Lightning quick reactions taking Everton into the semi-finals. But we have to commiserate with Burnley. It's been an absolute pleasure having them with us on this series because they've played so well. To Jimmy Mullen, Leighton James and Ian Meacham tonight. Um, Jim, I know you wanted to win it badly, but uh, I hope you've enjoyed your experience of being with us. Very much so. And fully congratulations to Everton. I thought they did very, very well. And that, that final question, the time that uh, Gary did it was remarkable. Ladies and gentlemen, your appreciation of a very fine Burnley side. A great credit, a great credit to the club. But tonight we're saying well done, congratulations to Everton, who've reached the semi-finals, to David Johnson, to John Parrott and to Gary Ablett. Um, good to be playing for Everton again, David. Nice to be on the winning side. <laughs> John, you're getting close to winning a trophy. Hasn't been happening for you recently, has it? Thanks very much, Elton. I'm glad I came. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, been a bit, a bit quiet. But my man is a bit, bit useful on the buzzer. And when you've got someone in the last round who's as good as Gary is on the buzzer, you've always got a chance. I mean, Leighton was very, very good for Burnley and got him, you know, in, into the lead. But uh, I, I doubt any, anyone would have got that quicker than Gary in the last round there. Well, you're in the semi-finals and well done. Ladies and gentlemen, the Everton team, the winners tonight. <laughs> in the Go For Goal semi-finals, which are just a couple of weeks away. And I hope you can join us again next week for what should be another exciting quarter-final. Could it possibly be as exciting as the one we've seen today? So that's full time. Until next time, from all of us here, goodbye. with LMP.